Good day fellow humans, Bad Mark here with Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at the Morse code keycap set from Keytalk uh, that's available on KeyMonkey, if that wasn't enough keys for you. Um, it's an interesting, um, mostly transparent, but also opaque. Um, as you can see, three sides are transparent and the transparency is um, opaque but with a tint of the color that's on the top so now i have them sitting on a drop enter i don't know if you uh, if folks know about this keyboard but basically it's drops entry level air quotes um keyboard for their market they're soldered uh, these come i believe with the halo trues <laughs> transparent i could look yeah uh, but i've had the keyboard sitting uh for a while i did get it from amazon warehouse and I, I don't remember it's been a while uh, but I got it for less than um, retail but they're soldered switches and I just haven't gotten around to desoldering them now that I've got this keycap set I'm actually <laughs> a little bit more um, inspired and I think I will be doing it quite soon because I, I like this keycap. Uh, there's a couple of keycap sets. I thought botanical or matcha was going to look good, but it actually clashed with the olive green. But anyway, um, I actually like these caps. Now, just to look at them at first, okay, you know, yeah, it looks good with the olive green, but this is where I believe they really shine. I'm not a big RGB guy, but, I mean, when you got this, you know, these are this is a single color, just the, the white backlight, but... I don't know. I really like it. Um, I did have pudding cap, uh, uh, pudding caps a couple of times, and I still have them. Um, they're stored. I kind of moved away from them, but this is pudding, but not. And um, I don't know. I, I I really like them. The quality of them is very good. They're PVT. Um, I don't believe they're double shot. They don't seem to be. I mean, they're using. Obviously, two different color plastics, so I guess it is kind of a double shot, but the bottom stem is the clear, so that's where I don't know. But, I mean, it's it's different. I don't know if double shot process would work exactly, but they are solid keys. They look quite nice. Um, it actually comes in a decent uh, container. I mean, and nowadays it's either cardboard, a bag, or a jar, but um, this box is, for the most part, I mean, better than you know those choices the alternatives and it does come with i believe 121 keys so it's gonna work with i believe 60 65 percent um 75 percent tkl and 100 percent i believe those are the ones but you can see the keys that it has and it does have the iso i mean it has the iso enter but i guess you'd have to use uh yeah i don't know which one you'd use for the i know there's two keys that you need so not sure about that one not sure i don't have an iso board so i can't really test um oh wait a minute it has keys below that's right there there we go <laughs> silly me um so it does come with a keycap puller oh i just holy crap i just real oh no, let's not lose this uh, yeah, they're definitely well packaged. There was um, a piece of PE foam too on the top, but I just noticed that I this is this is a first on me. There's a set. I don't know if those got thrown in there by accident or these are like a sample or something. I mean, they're not. They're pretty flimsy, but it looks balanced. But there's actually a space bar stabilizer in here, despite there being space for an extra space bar. There wasn't so. Um, it will not be compatible with Tsang bottom row. So, yeah, so you do have the three sets, and you got, like I said, the extra keys. It does look to be ISO compatible. If it's not, anybody points can point something out, please let me know in the comments so I can correct it. Um, but like I said, the quality is quite nice. The case is pretty good. Um, anyway, I like the MT3 uh, caps, so I do like... Uh, uh, different profiles but these taller profiles with this one the oem it's it, you know they create a 
nicer, deeper tone. I have Sublegends on there, and I think it's Cyrillic, but I'm not sure. Um, and then the other looks to be almost like a, uh, I don't know, four bit. Uh, I, I, I mean, I guess it's part of the the code. Um, not not quite sure, but um. So yeah, so these are PBT, but the sides where it's transparent, it's actually polycarbonate. Um, and they do have a nice feel to them, um, like a lot of PBT keycaps do. I mean, I know some people aren't a fan of ABS, some people aren't a fan of PBT. Uh, I really don't have a preference. I, I, I like them both. It's more, I mean, just how they feel. But these, now granted, this uh, keyboard has the minimal modifications because obviously I wanted to desolder it and I just never did and I got it like I said with the with um from Amazon warehouse with that keycap so um now that I have this keycap set that matches it and in my opinion looks uh, quite well and takes advantage of the white only backlight which I'm not usually you know crazy about lights I, I mean I prefer the board have it but it's not like oh I gotta have it um but I do on this one um do like the white back backlight but with these keys I mean I'm just gonna give you a quick sound test uh, like I said um just kind of try to listen for the tone of the keys instead of the hollowness and the there's a lot of spring ping in these halo clears you know they're supposed to be great but out of the box they're not they would have to be lubed and obviously um being soldered i haven't gotten around to that so just a quick sound test i, I do like this keycap set i i like them more than i thought i would i i got them on a whim i'm like mm, let me see if they'll they'll work with these um i'm actually quite happy because even even with what I spent on the board and everything, I'm still at about well, a little bit cheaper than what actually this this uh, board retails, or about there. Um, so, without further ado, quick keycap test. 